Hello and welcome to RTC TV4. We're here at uh, North Judson as the cast and comments take on the North Judson Blue, Day Blue Jays. I can't even pronounce anything today. The sky's blue. Yes. Um, it's obviously a game of football. I did not mention that earlier. That's all right. Let's go ahead and run through the lineup here. You have North Judson side. Yes, home team tonight, North Judson, San Pierre Blue Jays. Not the starting lineup, just the entire roster for North Judson. Number five, Fletcher Greer. Number seven, Sam Back. Number nine, Caden Peretti. Number 10, Max Reinbold. Number 11, Caleb Peretti. Number 14, Jagger Boyd. Number 18, Logan Block. Number 20, Manuel Barnes. Number 21, Devin Condon. Number 22, Logan Brown. 24, Trey Hampton. 27, Nolan Scheidler. 28, Josh Lee. Number 30, Chris Contreras. Number 32, Chase Thomas. Chance Thomas, excuse me. 33, Chucky Wilcox. 35, JJ Blount. Number 40, Seth Barnett. And rounding out the roster, number 41, Tabor Brown. And for the cast and comments, we have number four, Maddie Hunter. Number five, Lonnie Nice. Number seven, Tate Cowell. Number eight, Blake Albright. Number 12, Zach Conrad. Number 20, Brady Hartman. Number 35, Colton Welker. Number 40, Casey Alt. Number 44, Gavin Hickel. Number 55, Brandon Kinser. Number 65, Hunter Shane Lobb. Number 69, Peyton Hend Hedrick. Number 70, Keegan Dottie. Number 72, Dylan Tabler. Number 77, Seth Johnson. Number 79, Sam Duval. Number 82, Hunter Schaefer. Number 86, Chris Smith. And we just got word that Kasten will receive the ball as the Blue Jays get ready to kick it off. Perfect weather tonight. This is the second game in a row that I've been able to film football-wise where it's just it's more than we could ask for. Yeah, I was even thinking today when you pop out of the office for lunch, it's, it's not necessarily your normal August humidity that you still sometimes feel, even though we're towards the end of August. It's actually really nice fall weather, and being outdoors is very enjoyable. Yeah, I think September's teasing us a little bit. I know. Let's I'm here. Not do I'm coming. What, that's what February did, and then March was a raging mess. So let's not let's not do that again in the fall. Very little wind tonight, too, as well, so yeah. not much of a, a weather factor at all. Nope, not, not, not even a cloudy the sky. It's, like you said, perfect weather, and very impressed with North Judson's field. They've got some nice Blue Jays painted out there. They definitely take care of their facility for sure. Looks like we have Chance Alt <coughs> ready to receive for Kasten on the back end. As number 30, Chris Contreras. Gets ready to kick it off. Casey Alt. I went to school at Chance Alt. Casey Alt is receiving the ball. Got the last name, I'll, right? I'll miss that. I'll mess that up all day because <laughs> I went to school with half of these brothers. Yeah. Ooh. Wow, the Blue Jays recover the football after after Kasten gets a a low ball there, hitting number 55. Blue Jays recover. Brandon Kinser, and nobody just, everybody's kind of caught off their feet. Yeah, honestly, I lost it in the camera over here, so if yeah, I was, can only imagine being down there, not expecting it. Only, it only it made it to the front line there of the casting Comets, and I don't think anybody was expecting that for a kickoff. So was the that Blue Jays. Intentional? Almost yeah, like, it was intentional? Yeah, like it a definitely off. seemed intentional. So the Blue Jays are going to take it here from the 45 yard line on. Comet's side of the field, giving them a really good position here for the first possession. Going to make about a five yard What's gain. With the carry? Number five, Fletcher Greer gets five. with the carry. Bringing out of the Blue Jays to the 40 yard line. Second and five. Another good push by the Blue Jays, taking it to the right side this time. Once again, Fletcher Greer with the carry. 
Greer with the carry again. For Gonna be first down. First down here after just two attempts. Only being the second game in the season so far, I wonder <clears throat> if that initial kick is a tactic that North Judson usually uses, or since it's so early in the season, it's hard to scout that. Yeah, that's something that you would not expect this early on. Right. Ooh, bad handoff there by number nine. Oh, it gets away. Caden Peretti. Looks like Kasson's going to come up with a recovery. It was meant to get in the arms of Fletcher Greer once again, but not a good handoff. Colton Walker on the Yeah, recovery. lots of commotion, but we haven't moved very much either way Comments in the field. Ball. Now we're heading back the other way with the Comets. So a very interesting, what are we in, like first five minutes here, you <laughs> yeah. know, of just a quick possession change on just turnovers. Blue Jays send a message and Kasten sends one right back. Yeah, very good response by Kasten. Didn't get down, they ended up finding that fumble. Finding number eight there. Blake Albright. Oh. As the Blue Jays recover oh it. Oh my gosh. Fumble on the play. Fumble. <laughs> well, maybe we'll just stay around the 50 yard line the whole yeah. game and just go back and forth. This is just crazy. I don't think I've seen so many <laughs> change of possessions in such a short amount of time no, and really not. it's such a small we're looking at probably a 10 yard spot that they've been playing in well and usually when you have changes it's an interception long ways down the yeah, field pass. and vice versa yeah these have all been just runs blue jays take it to the outside number 88 I believe there is no 88, so I'm wrong. <laughs> I don't know who that is. 68. Wow. Tyler Blount on the carry. There's an 86. Tyler Blount. We don't even have an 86. Okay. I have a JJ Blount. <laughs> we got half of the roster. <laughs> this is fun. Another good push by the Blue Jays. Uh, on the carry. Gonna give him the first down. Tate Cowell on the tackle. We definitely will always know what the announcer's saying since the very large speakers a couple inches from yes, our heads. And <laughs> so we will always have backup. I almost don't need to commentate. I think we yeah. can almost like have this down by the speaker. <laughs> put, put the microphone down there. Every time he talks, I jump a little bit, so uh -huh. I'll, I'll get used to it. Another handoff by the Blue Jays, sending it to the left side this time. Number 33 with the carry, Chucky Wilcox, as Kasten brings him Chucky down Wilcox on the carry. with very little gain. Casey Alt on the tackle. Doesn't look like they're even going to call it any. Just a lateral movement there? Yep. A lateral movement. I didn't even Brings know that one. Yeah. Well, That's I don't think it's a football <laughs> term. I just think it's a life term that it I threw in like there. It sounds like it. So okay. We'll call that as one. As long as nobody critiques it, I'm good. <laughs> Blue Jays trying to send it up the middle. Going to gain about two yards there. Caleb Perotti on the keeper. Caleb Perotti, number 11 for the Blue Jays. Going to put the Blue Jays third and eight. like you're going for a pass. Number nine, trying to find somebody long down the field. Oh. Number 33, Chucky Wilcox, not able to get open. He Pretty had two on, on him. Good idea, though, to bust that open, like we said. The whole entire game, we've just been moving tiny yardage here. Yeah, and I think you see that more from a, a more seasoned team who, you know, has been together a little longer. You'll start to see more pass plays. So right. that you know, we don't know the North Judson team here very well, so perhaps maybe they do have a little more of some seniority going on. Right. 
Ooh, offsides there. Number 69 by the cast and comments just a little early. Peyton Hedrick. Is that five yards? Going to give him five. Fourth and three. Not what you want on what was really close to a turnover. Right. On downs. Fourth and three. Hand it off to number five. He's going to get it. Fletcher Greer Fletcher once Greer again. On One they're going to have to watch if they want to stop this running For game. Yeah, we've heard his name First quite down. a bit already. He's going to go ahead and move the chains and put the Blue Jays about the 25-yard line. Look like some confusion there. Fletcher Greer on the carry again. Fletcher Greer, about three-yard gain. And they're just going to go ahead and try and pick up the pace here. Brady Hartman on the tackle. Number 33, Chucky Wilcox on the carry. Going to gain him a couple more. Chance Thomas on the carry. Third down, four yards to go. Getting closer and closer to the Caston touchdown. Well, the Blue Jays touchdown. Number five, Fletcher Greer trying to find a first down. Fletcher Greer on the carry. Dylan Tabler on Look, the tackle. Looks like they're gonna call it just short. A few inches left here. Run to the outside, number nine. He's got some room. Gonna push him out of bounds. Number Andy seven Corrado by the Comets, the Tate Cowell, shoving him out. Brings up another Blue Jay first down. Yeah, that but was it's still gonna give the Blue Jays first down. First down, yes, but probably saved a touchdown in that instance by being yeah, they, physical and getting him out of bounds. They had to squeeze him out there. Yes. Because he. The orange pylon was just not close enough. First and goal from the six. Fletcher Greer with the carry. He's going to make some ground. He's close. Going to be just shy of a goal. Fletcher Greer on About the carry. About two yards to go. Brings up second and one. They're calling it one yard to go. So second and one. And they're just going to push it on through. Yep. Looks like they got it. As the refs run in to try and break up the dog pile here. Nice. They're going to call it goal. For a Blue Jay touchdown. I didn't get who that was. Did you? I did not. I'm waiting for the loudspeaker in my ear. I think they said it over the loudspeaker. Oh. We just okay, didn't hear well it because I'm, it was very distorted. I missed but <laughs> the loudspeaker in my ear. Yeah, I didn't get who that was. It was Blue Jay touchdown, that's what I got from it. It looks like they're going to go ahead and go for two. Two point conversion. With how successful the running game is, this may not be a bad play. Wow, they find it. Oh, that was a conversion. huge gap. That Number nine, Caden Peretti. Yeah, that was almost like the waters being parted. He just slipped right through there. Yeah, I think they knew that. Their running game was working out so well, yep. they might as well run for yeah. a two-point conversion here in the early game. Don't forget to get your 50-50 tickets for tonight's drawing. Tickets are a dollar each or six for five dollars. The tickets are being offered by our co-ed varsity track and field program. The winner will be announced at the end of the third Very quarter. Very interesting beginning of the game here as we change possessions three times, finally finding the hands of the Blue Jays as they work their way slowly down the field with a pretty strong running game. We saw one pass out of the whole stretch of, I would say, 45 yards. Yeah, but, the, I mean, it was definitely a pass attempt and not a short pass at all. I mean, they really swung that one back. It would have been a very, very impressive play if they would have made that happen, but... Found the goal nonetheless. Yes. 
and the two-point conversion, which. Yeah, pretty rare in high school. Momentum on the Blue Jays' side. We'll see if Kasten can find some spunk in them to get this game going offensively. Maybe a little more aware of the potential here of a yeah. off short Jays. kick. I know, I'm watching <laughs> a little closer. They're going to have their heads up this time, I think. Casey Alt back to receive for the Comets. Casey Alt receiving once again. Hello. Going to go ahead and let it roll back to him. It's going to find him. Makes a run, but met by defenders at about the 27 yard line. Casey Alt with the return. Now, I will tell you, Abby, as I was at the last game, two that you need to watch with the running game on Kasten's end is Brady Hartman and Casey Alt. Okay. They, I've, and I've and heard there, was, there was an internal joke between Dakota and I, because he <laughs> oh was boy. the commentator, that they were almost in competition with each other with how many <laughs> yards they could run in hey, the game. Hey, that's not a so. bad problem to have if you can better each other by having a little competition, if it works out well. Kasten with a... Slight push there. Doesn't look like they're going to gain much. Brady Hartman on the carry. Brady Hartman with the carry. For a gain of one. You called it. One yard gain. Better than backwards. I haven't seen cowbells at a football game in a while. I'm hearing them you know, tonight. <laughs> I thought it was because I've been out of high school for a while, but I think you're right. They just haven't been there in general. You're going to find Casey Alt. He's going to try and find a gap. Going to gain about three, maybe two. Looks like they're going to call it three. Casey Alt on the carry for the Comets. It is nice for Kasten, though, having two guys that the defense is trying to cover. You know, it makes. Yeah, that's what we were half, talking about half last the week. Pressure is, for each guy. Yeah, it was. They could change it up. You know, yep. I, I think from the Blue Jays' standpoint, we've seen a lot of work from Fletcher Greer yes. and a lot of keeps from Caden Peretti, their quarterback. Yep. But which, uh, yeah, for Casting, it makes the, the fake handoff a little bit more possible if you've got a couple options. They're going to give it to Brady Hartman. No, Blake Albright, actually, with the carry. Blake gonna Albright on the carry. Caught me off Brought guard. Brought down by Caleb Peretti. Caleb Peretti with the tackle. Going to set the Comets fourth down and two to go. And there's so Caleb Peretti and Caden Peretti for North Justin. Yeah, so we okay. can't go last names. Yeah. I mean. And Caden and Caleb are pretty close <laughs> in first names. So we'll get those confused all night. I have a feeling. Brings up fourth and two. Fourth and two, and it looks like the Comets are going to go for it. I think they trust the running game here. Mm -hmm. Working well for both teams so far after we had the bout of turnovers cleared out. Looks like they might not get it. They're stretching. It's very close. It looks just shy. Brady Hartman on the carry. Brady Hartman with the carry. Not going to get it. Oh, okay. Going to measure. They're measuring. Okay. I'm trying to interpret these. Yeah. I see, I see <laughs> very signals. negative signals, so right. I'm like, okay, well, they must not have gotten it. But now they're signaling for the, 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 the chains to come on yeah. out to the field to measure. See, and that's so crazy to me. I mean, I know there's no other way to do it, but, like, if that – chain person like if you just miss up by a couple centimeters that's your fate's in the team's hands yeah and it looks like they are shy turnover on about downs. a foot blue yeah. jay ball. it's gonna be a turnover on downs putting the blue jays at about the 37 yard line we need the referee hand signals book up here i think, yeah, right. think it flow a little better because <laughs> some of the hand signals look like i'm trapped on the side of the road help me type of signs but See, that just means come here chains yeah you know, the, the nice thing is we have this giant speaker here so true. we don't know anything so folks we don't can listen take to us. a moment yeah. <laughs> listen to the loudspeaker i'll leave it to the professionals yeah because i don't know very much about football so we'll see how it goes you'll learn 
I know. It's, it's a learning experience. I'm growing today. Going to give a handoff here. Oh, wow. It's one that was really close to the line. Some interesting plays here by the Blue Jays. Tyler Blount on the carry. Tyler Blount. Just busted through that. Is the Walker on the tackle. The one we don't have, but I'm going to write it down. Yeah. We've For heard his name Jay. enough. We should probably have that memorized. Give the Blue Jays their first down here. Setting them about the 26-yard line. Going to give it right back to him again. Tyler Blount with the carry. Going to gain just Tyler a few. Blount on the carry. Brought down by Casey Alt. And take Cowell. Brings up second and eight. And I think, correct me if I'm wrong, that's number 88, Tyler Blount. He's right there in the middle. Yes. Okay. And if I'm wrong, then I've got these down. fancy contact things. So. Yeah. I don't. So I They're going to gain some ground here. Yeah. Look like Tyler Blount again. Blount on the carry for another Blue Jay first down. Going to give the Blue Jays another first down. Actually, yep, 88. Cowell on the tackle. But to me, 68 and 88 are pretty close in numbers. Absolutely. Timeout coming. Looks like we're going to have a timeout. We're going to send you to a word from our sponsors. We'll be back right after this. There's no better time than right now to buy or refinance a home, and there's no better place to go for a mortgage loan than First Federal Savings Bank. Mortgage interest rates are still incredibly low, so now's the perfect time to talk with one of our loan experts. We offer a variety of mortgage loans, from conventional loans to FHA and USDA subsidized loans. We don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Are you in pain from an injury or arthritis? What if there was a place that could meet all of your orthopedic needs? A place with some of the best orthopedic doctors and staff in the Midwest. A place where you're treated as a person instead of a patient. What if that place weren't in Chicago or Indianapolis? There is such a place. Rochester Orthopedics, your regional orthopedic specialist. When you're looking for comfort and relief, remember, trust the board certified and fellowship trained surgeons at Rochester Orthopedics. And we're back. The Blue Jays have the ball at about the 11-yard line as they go for their second goal of the game here. Really kind of a game with the momentum on the Blue Jays' side so yeah, far. Yeah, absolutely. I think, you know, you saw the momentum swings in the beginning, but this last little offensive run here for North Judson, they kind of have been splitting the gaps pretty easily. You know, they haven't gone inch by inch. They've made some good yardage each time. They're going to hand it off to Fletcher Greer once again. He's going to gain maybe one. Fletcher Greer on the carry. Brought down by Casey Alt. As the Blue Jay crowd gets a little rowdy. They are. Getting, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to stay up here. It's a little <laughs> shaky. We're already up way yeah. ahead of I hope you have no else. fear of heights. No, I, I don't. The ladder was a little bit, bit nerve-wracking, though. A little bit. We are in the Blue Jay nest, I we would say. We are you know? in the nest. <laughs> You are correct. What would you call it if we were at Caston? The, the outer space? Sphere? I don't know. Looks like Fletcher Greer once again with a run, but no gain. No, Caden it was actually Prairie Caden Pretty. Brought down by Casey Alt. Their quarterback trying to keep it. Not able to make anything happen. So it looks like the Comets have picked up a little bit more on Fletcher Greer and Caden Pretty, but Brings still not able to 10. find a very good stop for this 88 Tyler Blount who wasn't much of a factor in the last possession, but they've definitely right. whipped him out now, and he's well, heck he a little bit bigger than the other two, I'd he say. He so wasn't he's even on the roster, so I yeah. was totally confused. They recruited him, perhaps. Yes, <laughs> last minute. Going to give it over to Fletcher Greer. He's going to go up the middle. Looks like he's still going to be short of a first down, but a gain nonetheless. Going to put him, I would say, fourth and five. Fletcher Greer on the carry. Fourth and four, they're going to call it. So you also have to be pretty Walker. fast at math if you're going to talk about football. That's not yeah. me either. So I'm like, hold on. It's, it's a subtraction of 10. Yeah, so right. You know. like 20 <laughs> minus 10. While I'm wearing the camera, I can't count on my fingers. So. All right. They line up once more. Four yards to go on their last possession. 
willing to sacrifice it because if it does become a turnover on down, it does not give Kasson a very good field position. Right. Yes, we have the ball back. Yay. But we're all the way down the field. we got a long trip to go. Looks like we're going to have a delay of game. Timeout, Blue Jays. No, they're going to call okay. a timeout right before that. So we're going to send you over to our sponsors for a quick break. All this month, you can save big during Shepherd Chevrolet's Summer Drive event, where prices have been slashed to 20% below MSRP on 2017 Cruise, Impala, and Malibu LT Edition. How about a lower rate instead? Take 0% APR for 72 months. The choice is yours during this inventory clearance event, going on right now at Shepherd Chevrolet Buick in Rochester, where they trade your way. Online at shepherdrochester.com. Farming is a way of life for many of our Hoosier families. Protect all of your farming assets with coverage from Evans Agency in Rochester. They offer farm liability, farm personal property, and farm outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your coverage needs. Judy Evans and her staff have been serving the insurance needs of this community for over a decade. Let Judy help you protect your farm, your life, your business, and all of your possessions. Evans Agency, online at evansagencyrochester.com. Welcome back. The Blue Jays have the ball at the five yard line, fourth down and four to go. Looks like they're gonna toss it back to Fletcher Greer. He's gonna find a gap. Looks like it's gonna be a goal. A touchdown by the Blue Jays, their second one in their second possession. Yeah, definitely momentum on their side. This puts the score 14 to zero with about a minute left in the first quarter. Are they going for two again? It looks like they are. Their, their running game is so strong that I think that they feel like if, I mean the first two point conversion really two. gave them a good yeah, advantage and the second one will just make it all that much harder and they get it Wow. pretty easily there. Number 33, Chucky Wilcox. Yeah, both of their two point James conversions, the they've almost conversion. walked into the end zone. Yeah. This Direction, is uh, Chucky Wilcox. Yeah, I was gonna say I was a little confused because the announcer said a different name, <laughs> so I'm like, ah. So you were right. Yeah. Okay. So what do you think so far, Abby? We're gonna take a quick break here, but I think there's some interesting things here to talk about in the first stretch here. Yeah, honestly, this is my first football experience behind the camera, I think, and I've either been producing or shadowing other people that were filming or just an, a fan of the game but listening to all the lingo and like actually paying super attention to where the ball is like every second of the game it's a lot more I guess this game has surprised me from games that I usually watch when you start off with a kick like that I just feel like you're bound to have a game that's going to be full of surprises. There's been some interesting plays because I feel like even Tyler Blount number 88 the, the one that is kind of ran quite a distance here on their last possession for the Blue Jays is I think he's either a lineman or something equivalent to that. He's Not really close there to the front line where I don't anticipate that they keep it. Right, so having that versatility has really helped them. It's going to go over to Casey Alt, who's going to find some ground. He's brought down at about the 28-yard line. And are those low kicks, are those no. normal, or is that just North Judson's strategy? Because I'm used to the kickoffs being I would high say, I would say it's, it's, it's more of a strategy. It's a type of kick. Um, yeah, I mean, that's not very exciting to run and catch. Like, hey, no. there's a rocket I coming. Think, I think that that's their point, is yeah. like they want to kind of have <laughs> have the returner, you know, um, scrambling um, yes. a little bit just and to get the ball, let alone run it back. Instead of catching a pop fly, it's like, oh, there's a line drive coming at my throat. This is, this is not what I want to catch right now. Yeah, that makes I sense. like I like your softball terms. Yeah, <laughs> I have to use analogies with sports I know, and then maybe people understand what I'm saying. But collegiate softball player trying to yeah trying to play football. <laughs> those two things, yeah, they don't go together. Kasten gonna go with their first play here. Casey Alt with the keep, not the keep, but the run. I will get my terminology messed up. I am not here to He's gonna go you. ahead and get to about the 31 yard Both line. By Nolan Scheidler. Whatever you say, Brant, whatever you say, that's my motto. Only 30 seconds left in the quarter. It's 
still doesn't change anything, but maybe gives Kasson a little bit time to figure out what they want to do offensively. Right. So the clock will. S and they just have to snap it before the clock runs out. Yeah, they've had 14 seconds here on the play clock, so they do have to get a play in. Okay, yeah, it's stressing me out. You guys got to yeah. hurry. <laughs> There's only 10 seconds left. Not much of a gain there. About a yard. Brady Hartman on the game. As Brady Hartman tries to make a move. He's going to send us over to our second quarter. We're going to take a quick break as we let both teams huddle up here and... Make some decisions. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner, and Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at EvansAgencyRochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at RTC1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. Every touchdown from every game, every Sunday afternoon. Don't miss a touchdown with Red Zone from NFL Network and RTC Fiber Communications. Call today to get yourself set up for all the action. Protect yourself from personal attack on campus, in the home, at the mall, or wherever you are. Blue Dragon Taekwondo in Rochester is offering a self-defense boot camp so that you have the basic skills to protect yourself in an attack. Blue Dragon is the area's leading martial arts facility. Master instructor Dave Colger and his team welcome new participants and those seeking to learn the basic self-defense techniques. Contact Blue Dragon Taekwondo today to learn more about this exciting self-defense boot camp. We're back after a quick break. After the first half, Blue Jays leading 16 to zero, Kasson with the possession. They're gonna go for a pass, gonna be intercepted oh. by number 33 from the Blue Jays, Chucky Wilcox. Yeah, he snuck right in there. Pass by Tate Cowell, intercepted by Chucky Wilcox. Not what the Comets needed here as we start a new quarter. Nope, not good news. That may be the second or third passing play I've seen from the Comets in two games. Really? So I'm kind of interested on that decision. why they chose that, but I haven't seen much happen with the running game either. Right. So well, yeah, maybe so they were trying to do something a little different. Change it up. If that play would have worked, then they would have made North Judson think a little bit. It looks like there's going to be a loss on the play. Or no, I'm I'm still on the backwards. Yes. The Blue Jays have possession now. Right. So, <laughs> so okay. they're gonna go yes. This direction. Brought down by Peyton Hedrick. Peyton Hedrick with the tackle. Hudson handing it off to number 33, Chucky Wilcox. So he's going to be at a five yard gain, but there's a foul on the play. Chucky Wilcox on the carry. Brought down by Dylan Tabler. Dylan Tabler with the tackle. I think it's Tabler. Whatever you want it to be. Flag on the play. Looks like it's going to be against the Comets. Oh. Looks 
Personal foul on the Comets. Personal foul on the Comets. That's 15. Looks like it's going to be 15 yards and first down for the Blue Jays. Yikes. At about the 20-yard line, which is where we've really seen the Blue Jays open up their game and right. make some pretty solid gains. Seems like the gaps get a little bit wider when they get this close. There's another flag on the play. Flag on the play. Oh. Going to send the Blue Jays back. Look like a false start. Motion uh, on the Jays. Motion on the Jays. Maybe we'll just do this all night. I don't know what the difference between false start and motion is, but they're similar, I would imagine. What's the difference between that and offsides? That's a good question, Abby. Okay. Let's whip out the giant book of football and read through. <laughs> football for dummies. <laughs> Where do I buy one? <laughs> Going for a pass, trying to find number 30. Ooh. It's going to be knocked out of his hands. There's an incomplete. Must have. Hidden Purdy on the pass attempt. Yeah, he was trying to find number 30, Chris Contreras. Contreras. Not going to happen. Casting with a good defensive play there. Yeah, that was. Starting to show a little bit of some. Gumption. Yeah, if that's your word. It is my word. Going with say. another pass play here, looking for him once again. Going to wow. find him. He's going to touch in. Number 30, Chris Contreras. That was very impressive. At about the nine-yard line. Man. The pass and the catch and staying in bounds. No, they're going to call Another it even further. DJ first down. Wow. They're going to call it at about the seven. And it's one thing when we talk Brings about North Judson's seven. running game, but the fact that they just had that passing play, it makes. They've got some options. Yes. Not good news for Caston, though. Going to give it to Chris Fletcher. He's going to find the end zone. Fletcher Greer, Fletcher Greer not Chris. It's Fletcher somebody. <laughs> Another touchdown by the Blue Jays, wow. nonetheless, putting the score at 22 to 0. And it looks like they're just going to go ahead for another two point conversion. Why not? Assuming Caston just can't find anything to defend against this team. Yeah, I think it always helps being at your home field. But once you start off with a score like this, that just adds to the momentum for the Blue Jays. Absolutely. So this will be number 14. Looks like he's going to fall short. No good. He was down before he stretched over. <coughs> good stretch, though. I thought he had it on Jagger the stretch. Number, on the on number the 14, Jagger Boyd with the attempt. But it is no good, leaving the score 22-0. to zero. Still within reach for the Comets if they can get something going offensively. The JV football team will travel to Knox on Monday, August the 28th, for a 5 p.m. kickoff. I would be interested to see if the Blue Jays have any other interesting players up their sleeve that we haven't quite seen yet yeah. because it's we've only seen quite a diversity of, of talent. Yeah, those pass plays were very impressive. Just because when you see a running team like that, especially a smaller school at the high school level, you don't expect them to have both sides. Yeah, you think they focus on that. Yeah, you don't expect them to have both sides of the game like that. So very good on the Blue Jays. Along with so this far. kicker who we've seen some – Pretty interesting kicks from them. Yeah, those are rockets. Given, yeah, given. Uh, Head high rockets. Definitely given the Blue Jays an edge when it comes to putting the cast and offense in a tight position just at the very beginning. Yeah, I would love to know if that low kick on the very first play was on purpose or a kick that was too low accidentally and ended up working in their favor. Things we'll never know from the Blue Jays' nest. <laughs> We've coined the phrase now, yes, right? Yes, we have. We just have to come up for one when we're at casting now. Number 30, Chris Contreras, the one we just saw down the field with the catch. Yeah, that was fancy. To kick us off here, Casey Alt. 
receiving. Going to be caught by number eight, Blake Albright. He's going to try and run around him. They're going to push him back about five yards. Blake Albright. Is it just better to fall down in that situation? Looks like they're going to call him in this forward momentum. Okay. I, I don't know quite what the rules are there, but that seems like I've heard that before. So I'm going to call it at about the 26-yard line. Not a bad spot to start. Keep those turnovers down and they'll find themselves on the scoreboard. Start on the 26. Looks like they're gonna change up to a running play here. They line up. Finding number eight, Blake Albright once again. He's gonna find a little bit of a yeah. gap. Thought he had a little, right on the carry. Judson about did a good job of closing that gap, but he had one for a little bit. Block. Yeah, so they called it about the 33-yard line. And Chucky Wilcox. Pretty okay. solid gain for Kasten. There he goes second and three. Again. Notice it takes me a while to do that, Wait, Matt, and it's only three. 10. Yeah, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just waiting for you to say it because I'm yeah. not even attempting. Aston lining up for the play. So Casey Alt going to take it. He's going to find a small gap. Enough for first down, it looks like. Casey Alt with the carry. Going to put the Comets at about the 38-yard oh, line. As the sun starts to go down, we may see these comets catch a little bit of fire. Oh, oh. I like it. <laughs> Casey Alt once again. They're going to find yeah. him. He's going to find some room. Going to be just shy, about two yards to go. One or two. They're going to call it one. Casey Putting Alt. the comets at the 48-yard line. Definitely finding their groove here. Brings up second and one. 47 yard line. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta correct my math constantly. Yeah. I'd you can double check nope, me. Nope, do not ask <laughs> okay. me that, because that will take me all game. They're gonna hand it over to number 20, Brady Hartman. Once again, Brady bringing Hartman us back to the three. conversation, you know, with two strong runners here yep. for Kasten. They can make those little trick plays where, you know, as you saw, it looked like they were going to give it off to Casey and yep. threw it over to Brady instead, giving them just enough time to sneak that one through. Absolutely. Bring the Comets first and 10 at about the 53-yard line. I don't know how you call it that way. Is it 53? Is it 47? You're Anyways. asking the wrong girl. All right, number, look like seven, Tate Cowell with the carry, gonna gain casting about four yards. Carry by Casey Alt. Casey Alt, not Tate Cowell. My numbers are all messed up. Gaston finding some momentum here. So we hit seven minutes before halftime. Yeah, the second quarter has definitely gone by faster. Lots of stops in the first quarter with the crazy kicks and turnovers. This one's gone a little bit quicker. I'd say less mistakes. Yes. Going to find number eight. Oh. Going to hand it. Oh, they were trying to hand it off to Casey Alt. Fumble. It's going to be recovered by the Blue Jays. The Blue Jays Yikes. Man. That was supposed to be a play by Blake Albright handing it back off to Casey Alt. Yep. 
not going to happen. The Blue Jays right there to jump on top of it. Just as we thought the Comets were getting something going here. Yep. A small mistake like that just really puts them in a bad spot. Blue Jays taking over here at the 45-yard line. Very small gain of about a yard. Tyler Blount on the carry. By Tyler Blount on the Blue Jays. Second and nine with six minutes, 15 seconds left. Comets may be finding a little bit of a an idea on how to start stop this running game. So they pass it over to Fletcher Greer. Oh, kind of got stopped by his teammate. They were going in the same direction and ended up Fletcher Greer running into each other. Brought down by Brandon Kinzer. Gain Colton of a Welker, about three. And Lonnie Nice. You know, football. To, the ball's hard enough to film that if I wanted to follow the wrong person, you honestly wouldn't know until the play was completely <laughs> right. over because there's so much you going gotta, on. you got to watch the ball. Yeah, you it's, find it's where the ball is, but I could easily just make people think it's on right, the other side right. of the field. I think you see that even on, you know, professional networks. Yeah. A lot of times the players are that good at tricking hiding, even the cameraman. Hiding the ball, yep. Fletcher Greer once again with possession. He's going to make it to the first down. Fletcher Greer on the carry. Hit about the 41-yard line. Brought down by Chris Smith. They're going to call it 42. Blue Jays line up for what looks like a pass. Now they're going to throw it over to number 33, Chucky Wilcox. Chucky He's going to lose a little bit of ground Up there. By Casey Alt and Tate Cowell. A good, good play by the Comets to make sure he didn't go anywhere. Yeah, they definitely contained him, like you said, having a better defensive strategy, maybe detecting which angle the Blue Jays are taking <clears throat> before it's too late. Yeah, and definitely even tricked me with their lineup there. I was anticipating a nice pass like they did their last possession. I was. Yeah, I zoomed out for you, but it was not a pass, so. Hand it off to Fletcher Greer once again. He's got ground. Right open. I think he's going to get it. Yep. Number eight, Blake Albright trying, but not going to find him. This is going to be another touchdown Fletcher by the Blue Jays. But really good attempt by Albright because it was pretty obvious that the Blue Jays were going to score there, so he could have stopped running, but he definitely dove at the end to make yep. sure he gave it all Definitely he putting in some effort. Yeah, and that's, that's a good sign for the Comets for sure. Puts the score 28-0. And most of the momentum, frankly, in this first half in the hands of the Blue Jays. Comets going to have to regroup here as they get possession back. They're going to call the second point good, or the two-point conversion good, putting the Chucky score 30 Wilcox to 0. For the conversion. Chucky Wilcox with the conversion. Comets definitely... Got to be feeling feeling a little frustrated at this point. Yeah, probably trying to get into halftime with as little damage left as possible and maybe take a regroup, get some things going for the second half. 30-0 to zero is not where you want to be, definitely. I think you, know, you have a possession here. You're going to have well, to try and get something on the board so you can go into the – yeah, fix that. Into the locker room and right try and develop a plan quarter. to gain some ground. But for yeah, score here is going to be a, a almost a necessity to have any momentum going in that second half. Well, 
Once again, number 30, Chris Contreras with the kick. As the Comets break out of the, the team huddle there and take to the field. Looks like we have Blake Albright going to take it back this time for the casting Comets. I think we can anticipate another pretty low and midfield kick here. Yep. Like we've been seeing. Or they'll surprise us like they have been all night and rocket one to the end. Might zone. surprise the front line there again. Yeah. Off they go. About right where we thought it would be. Right into the hands of Blake Albright. He drops it. Gets some moving going. He finds a little bit of a gap, but not enough to Make a huge gain on the play, but still going to put him down at about the 28-yard line. Brought down by Josh Lee. I think if he would have caught that initially, he yeah. would we would have seen him more about the 35-40. Well, especially but. when you lose all that momentum trying to get the ball back into your hands. That's getting a running start to a stop start makes yeah, a huge he, difference. Yeah, he had to get to his knees to pick it up there. Yep. We're going to see another play here by Casey Alt. He tries to break oh, off the yeah. line. Oh, going to gain a little bit of ground it. here. Put on about the 37-yard line. Casey Alt For a split carry. second, he was wide open, and then the Blue yeah. Jays came in and just grabbed him I by thought the shoulder. He, I thought he was going to be able to drag it, that defender yep. to the first down marker there, but not quite. It's going to be second and two. Number 40, Casey Alt, once again, going to be brought down. Looks like it's going to be first down. Blue Jay is looking like they were really trying to Casey strip it from him. First down. So a good first job down. by Casey Alt holding yep. on to that one. Yeah, he's had a rough couple plays here. Really fighting for every yard. Yeah, very physical. Comet to the 39-yard line. First and 10 with three minutes to go. Number seven for the Comets, Sam Back. We haven't seen him yet. No, that is a new name. You're Gonna correct. be about a four-yard gain with a flag on the field. Big Cal on the carry. Pushed out of bounds by Cade, Caleb Peretti. That is not Sam Back. I'm looking at the wrong. Right Tate Cowell, <laughs> number oh, seven on the other okay, team. Is, I heard okay, his name yeah, before. there we go. Tate Cowell, the carry. I'm messing them all up today. Nah, I'm following. It's the blue paper. Yes. Throwing me off. I think it's. One needs to be red. Psychological. One needs to be blue. <laughs> there we go. Fifteen yard penalty. Yeah, looks like it's gonna be against the Blue Jays. Good news for the Comets. Yeah, that's a, the big momentum swing. If they use it, that could. It's gonna put them about the 41 yard line on the other side of the field. Finally breaking into the Blue Jay territory, which what I feel like has been a little while. Yes, I agree to be on this half of the field for the Comets. In this position of a first and 10. Mm -hmm. Another flag on the field. Oh, It'll be caught by no. number 30, but I don't think it's going to matter. Because of the flag. Pass by Tate Cowell, intercepted by Chris Contreras. They're not going to go ahead and count it, though, but it was a catch by Chris Contreras. But because of the flag, the play needs to end. Yeah, I think there was a little bit of confusion by the Comets there once they saw the flag, because I think they knew there was a penalty of some sort. 
Oh, no, they are going Blue Jays. First down, Blue Jays. Wow. Okay. Wow, yeah, because, I mean, as a player on the field, too, I would have thought It just I looked saw, like a lot of them kind of stopped with the play for a second. Right, so you make a pass that maybe you wouldn't have if you would not yeah. have seen the flag. So, And that's I where mean, our, our minds are at up here. Perhaps maybe they had no idea, but it just looked yeah. like a lot of players had kind of lifted up and weren't pursuing well, a play there. Well, they did throw a flag on the field. So why would the why did they not finish the penalty? Since the flag was on the field. Got a play by the Blue Jays here. Minimal gain. Carry by Fletcher Greer, number five. Man, Comets just not able to get anything going for them. And right. you know, you, you start to get some hope in your, your pocket and it just Seems to be stripped away by some sort of mistake, really. Yeah. I don't feel like it's been, you know, a turnover of downs or anything like that. I just feel like it's been a play or early season mistake. Yeah. Either a strip ball or an intercepted pass. Minimal gain once again by the Blue Jays. Pretty on the keeper. Caden Peretti with the keeper. Minute and 17 left here, the first quarter, or the first half. We have passed it. Number 30, Chris Contreras. Incomplete. Good defense there by Caston. Yeah, they have done. S spotting the, the pass play, which yep. is one thing, and then making sure it Bring doesn't happen is a whole other. Making sure everyone's covered because they've been struggling so much with the running game. You know, you mm -hmm. start to put more of your resources on that line and they whip out the pass play. It's definitely positive to see some good defense there. Right. Just over a minute left before the second quarter is over. Fourth down and eight. We're going for another pass play here. Oh, he's gonna take He's it. gonna run it, he's got an open field. He may f he finds the first down and keeps running. Wow, a couple spin moves there. The the Some missed tackles by Caston. I, yeah. I think they almost anticipated him to just go ahead and slide on down because he is the quarterback. You know, yep. you normally don't want to get roughed up too much, Brandon but Kinsner. he kept pushing up. A good run there by number nine, Caden Peretti. Wasn't able to find his pass, so he just took off with it. Saw the, the opportunity in yeah, the good, left side of the field. Good recognition to know that the play was. Go ahead and throw it forward. We'll call it incomplete. Clock's at 39 seconds left. Blue Jays pushing to get this touchdown before the first half is over, I'm sure. Or at least, I think, try and scare the Comets with the yeah. field position, you know, yep. showing, hey, an extra minute, we would have got this. Yep. Not what you want in your head when you go into that no, locker room. Not like, at man, all. we're almost. Had another one scored. You're yeah. Correct. Nonetheless, I think the Blue Jays are still going to pursue a touchdown. So they go for another pass play here. Finding number 33. He's brought down at about the line of scrimmage. Pass complete. The Chucky Wilcox. Wilcox. Brought down by Brady Hartman. Brady Hartman with the tackle. Heading the other way. It is with 32 seconds left. Hail Mary. And I'm, I'm a little bit of a hopeless romantic, but <laughs> I do I do hope for those Hail Mary moments no, just because I, they are that's, exciting. That's and what I've because been they are the about time. the only ones I know by name. Yeah, so. <laughs> this is true. I remember playing, you know, as silly as it is, Jay, Madden football in the early 2000s with my dad, night. and he actually knew the plays. The I would always just go for the long passes. That's right. <laughs> What's the quickest off? way yeah, to, to a touchdown? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let's chuck it in the air. Get the best quarterback you can. I don't know if we necessarily see that from Caston, but. Heck, I'm jumping up and down if we do. 
I'm hoping I'll for it. I'll let you call it then, play by play. Is, uh, all you hear is me screaming. Yeah. In the, well, I guess that worked. So all we hear is her yelling. Comets looking at 32 seconds to try and get something on the board as they go into the locker room for the second half. You got about one play in it. And a tough, tough situation for Coach for the Comets, wanting to keep the guys in a positive mindset to get this last 32 seconds to a place where it matters versus letting them know, hey, we haven't scored yet. So there's, there's a fine balance there. Absolutely, and you saw it with the long long huddle there on the sideline. Yep. They're definitely taking a moment to regroup and try and develop something that might just work. Third and 10 for the Blue Jays. Looks like it's the Blue Jays ball. I'm confused. Anyways. Yeah. Didn't, I, didn't it was forced down, referee, I was pretty sure. Point, I watched Pass intended the referee Taylor point Perrin. his hands to the side for yes, the Comets. I'm confused. Unless there was a referee mix-up. There may have been some flag on the play that we didn't get. Because the one referee I was zoomed in on was telling me it was Comet Ball. This is where my football knowledge gets a little shady, I would say. Heck, I thought I was sign language <laughs> very well and was looking at the wrong referee. Which Fourth and ten, though, with 27 seconds left, I would assume Brings the clock stops on, on a turnover on downs. Yeah. They might just eat up the clock here. Caden Peretti running for it. They bring him down. 18 seconds left. They do stop the clock, giving Kasten time for one play. Okay. Now we see the ref do the same thing we saw him do last time. Yeah. Actually, last time he had two arms <laughs> pointing that way, so that was like doubly positive for me. Not entirely sure. I think we need a ref up here. Yeah, uh, sir, could you translate this for us? Thank you. Can you imagine if there was not an announcer, though, as a fan? What is going on down there? Right. Hail Mary time. I don't think so. I think they're going to run for it. No, they're going to go ahead and down it. They're going to leave this game where it sits for the second half. All my excitement. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and run the clock out. That brings us to our second half. The score is sitting 30 to zero with the Blue Jays in the lead. That's the end of the first half of Blue Jays football. I would say the momentum on the Blue, Blue Jays side so far this Comet game. Zero. Comet's gonna go ahead and go into the locker room, see what they can come up with. You know, the running game not finding it quite yet. Hopefully they get something together, but we're going to go ahead and take a short break and send you over to our sponsors. You're watching RTC TV4. There's no better time than right now to buy or refinance a home, and there's no better place to go for a mortgage loan than First Federal Savings Bank. Mortgage interest rates are still incredibly low, so now's the perfect time to talk with one of our loan experts. We offer a variety of mortgage loans from conventional loans to FHA and USDA subsidized loans. We don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Are you in pain from an injury or arthritis? What if there was a place that could meet all of your orthopedic needs? A place with some of the best orthopedic doctors and staff in the Midwest. A place where you're treated as a person instead of a patient. What if that place weren't in Chicago or Indianapolis? There is such a place. Rochester Orthopedics, your regional orthopedic specialist. When you're looking for comfort and relief, remember, trust the board certified and fellowship trained surgeons at Rochester Orthopedics. And we're back for the second half here as the cast and Comets take on the North Judson Blue Jays. Cast and hoping to come out with some sort of game plan to put a stop to this offense on the Blue Jays and really their defense because I've seen pretty good plays on both sides. But the score is sitting 30-0 to zero with the Blue Jays in the lead. Um, really, I think those, this, this whole first half was definitely – all Blue Jays for the most part. We saw a couple good things come out of Caston, but I just think yeah. the Blue Jays have something going on that 
the Comets just don't quite have yet. Well, and I think, you know, you hit the nail on the head pretty early when you talked about momentum. And I think credit to the Blue Jays, any time they had a chance of losing their momentum, they got it back very quickly, whether it Blue was Jay fans, an interception or two or a really big defensive stop. But that's, that's not very easy for a team to recognize, hey, we're starting to lose our momentum swing, and then on top of that to get it back. So credit to the Blue Jays, but also credit to Kasten. I mean, the score's 30 to 0, and we watched a couple plays where the Blue Jays ran into the end zone pretty handily, and it was an easy run for them, but Kasten was still pushing. You know, I haven't been disgusted with either team as far as lack of effort. So it's yeah, been. I, I don't think you can say Kasten has quit quite no, yet. No, no, not at all. And that's, I mean, it's easy to do when you look at the scoreboard, and it's easy to quit, but it's also easy to get a positive attitude and move back the other way, which I think that's where Kasten's hopefully heading because they had a rough first half. But, I mean, it's a whole new half right now. So and you can, you can attest to the fact, being a collegiate athlete at one point in your life, to the fact that, you know, there's definitely a psychological game to be played. So you could look at the Blue Jays and be like, wow, 30-point lead. Perhaps they start to get a little sloppy with their plays yeah. and maybe a little more – yeah. You know, too it's lenient with what they, they start right. to do. And, if you know, the comments so might come out colored. hungry. Yep. If the Blue Jays start to relax or even Trust have a little bit of a lackadaisical mentality because the score is 30 to 0, and like you said, Kasson comes out ready to go, it's a whole entire four-quarter game for a reason. They don't cut it at halftime because the game's not over at that point. So we'll see who got more prepared at halftime, if the Blue Jays are going to keep pushing, if the comments are just going to come back right as hard. Hopefully, for the benefit of us and everyone that's here, it, it ends up being a pretty solid game back and forth because, like we said, the second half flew by. There was a lot less errors or during that second quarter. But I would say that the ones that, you know, we saw definitely that big mistake that happened on the comments, mm -hmm. you know, right at about the 45-yard line, right, when we thought that, okay, wow, three minutes left, they starting to push on the, the Blue Jays, the goal here. Yep. And I think it was a fumble, wasn't it? That yes. They just lost possession of it. And, yeah, I'll, I'll agree. Instead of having t 10 tiny little turnovers, it seems like any error that Kasson's had has been a big glaring error. And, you know, you have that every now and then where, hey, it'd be easy to just – take a couple yards back and consider that a turnover, but a fumble or an interception, those are the big ones that really count. So it just kind of depends on how many turnovers and what type are you committing for any sport that you play, honestly. Absolutely. It looks like the comments are going to go ahead and kick it off here with the Blue Jays receiving. Looks like we have, I can't see his number, number five actually, Fletcher Greer, who has been quite a strong runner for the Blue Jays here. Yeah, it actually it has on turned, the return. turned at night over the halftime spiel while we were running sponsor ads and things, but it is a little harder to see those Blue Jay numbers with the gold shining off the football lights. But this is definitely your Friday night lights, your Friday night football weather. Not complaining at all for what we were handed here Blue tonight. Blue Jays will be receiving to start off the second half. And this will be the first kick off for the Comets. Yes, and it's number two, which I do not have on our list here. So, oh. unfortunately, I do not know who number two is for the Comets. But he's kicking off. Going to put it about the 45-yard line. I think Nolan Scheidler on the return. Yeah, number 27, Nolan Scheidler on the return. And I think the Comets were trying to find maybe a player that they knew perhaps wasn't much of a runner or at least yeah. not one that was as notable as right. Fletcher Greer. Yeah, don't give it to the hot hand, that's for sure. And Fletcher Greer with possession here gets a gain of about Fletcher Greer on the four. Carry. Second and six. Yeah. 
small gain on the play here. Fletcher Drew on the carry, brought down by Brandon Kinsler. Fletcher Greer with the carry. Brought down by cast to number 55, Brandon Kinzer. Putting the Blue Jays at third and six. Tyler Blount on the carry. Tyler Blount on the carry. Gonna be a very small gain here. Brought down by Brandon Kinzer. Brandon Kinzer again with the stop. Brings up fourth and three. Fourth and three here. Looks like the Blue Jays are going to go ahead and go for it. Going to go ahead and for a pass. Comets almost able to pick it off. Incomplete. Pass from Peretti intended for Contreras. Incomplete. Trying to find number 30, Chris Contreras which we've seen some pretty big plays out of him in the past. So turnover a good stop down. by Kasten. Going to bring possession over to Kasten's on a turnover of downs at about the 47-yard line. Do some quick math. Math and quick are not two <laughs> words that go together. For me. Not if you want to be accurate. <laughs> no. Which is why I make so many mistakes. Ooh, thrown back to Casey All. A good attempt there to try and get some ground as he was hit early on, number seven. Alt on the carry. Tate Cowell had possession and knew he was going to get hit and tossed it back to Casey All. Logan Block with the tackle. Still going to be a loss of yards. Getting a little chilly up here, Abby. Yeah, we are. Uh, if we were a sailboat, we would be the sails at the top. So <laughs> we have the most windage. Mm -hmm. Looks like we've got Casey Alt once again with a very minimal gain here. Not looking good. It actually isn't windy at all tonight. Casey so I'm carry. very Brought lucky to be Nolan, wearing a t-shirt tonight Sarver. and not having a 20 mile an hour wind coming up here. Right. And Logan Block. And put the cast in third and 12. I would say Caston looks a little more assembled this quarter, but still not able to make anything happen quite yet. They just need that little break. One ball bounce to go their way from making us, putting a score on the board. Number 20, Brady Hartman brought down at about the line of scrimmage. Going to put Cast in forward and 13. I think the comments are going to go ahead and go for it, knowing what position they're in. Or perhaps not. They're going to go ahead and punt it. Eight minutes, eight and a half minutes left in the third quarter. Comments back to punt. Chucky Wilcox back to return. Number 33, Chucky Wilcox to return the ball. As it bounces really close to the sideline. He finds a gap brought out at about the 35-yard line. Probably Wilcox got more yards there than he should have. Yes, I would agree. Taken out of bounds by Seth Johnson. Seth Johnson with the shove out of bounds. So when they get shoved out of bounds, does the ball go to the center of the field? when they put it back in play? I'm not sure how they how they do the hash marks if they if they just go to the nearest hash mark there. Okay. Hash marks. Okay. I think that actually my dad had to school me on that over the weekend because I think he listened to a little bit of my commentary. Okay, and he, he was, was like, like disappointed, listen, you know. He was like, listen. wow, I don't think you can be a Gerald anymore. But <laughs> we disown you. So I may have gotten thanks. it wrong, so I may not be a Gerald anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you on Monday. Looks like they're going to pretty much fight there at the line of scrimmage. Maybe a small gain of about a yard or two. Pretty on the keeper. Caden Pretty on the keeper. 
as Casey Alt stops him from gaining any sort of large ground. Looking to find number five, Fletcher Chris Greer. On the carry. For a Broke large gain there. About four yards, I guess not as large as I thought. I think he rolled further than it <laughs> than yes. he was brought down. Yeah, it was a hard hit. We heard those helmets crack, but went down beforehand. Putting the Blue Jays third and four. in the game here. Not sure what the confusion is. Quick handoff to Fletcher Greer. Not going to make a gain. Fletcher Greer on the carry. Brought down by Casey Alt. Like it's going to leave it about fourth and four, maybe fourth and three. Fourth and two. Okay. I'm wrong. You were close. <laughs> it it was a number. Two. <laughs> Somewhere between one and ten. Yeah. Take your pick. I think they're going to go ahead and go for it. There's not anything to lose on their half, I don't think, at this point. Correct. It's, I think it falls short of a first down here. They're, they're calling it at about the 44 yard line. So we're switching sides. Comets, first down. It is the Comets. Blue Jays fall one yard short of moving the chains. Comets find Casey Alt. He finds a little bit of a gap. Going to come down at about the 40-yard line. Casey Alt on the carry. With a gain of about four yards. Brought Second and six. Boyd and Nolan Chadwell. Once again, the Comets finding themselves at about the 40-yard line. We'll see if they can actually break past that barrier I feel like they've been stuck at for almost the entirety of the game. Right, just on either side of that 50-yard line, not too far either way. Hand over to 35. Gain of about two. Colin Welker with Colin the carry. Colin Welker on the carry. Third and three for the Comets. Comets taking a quick breather here, knowing that they have to do something with this possession. Right. Well, I guess they kind of have two because I don't imagine they're not going to do anything with the fourth if they need it. They're pretty close here. Brady Hartman on the carry. Brady Hartman with the carry. I think they get it. They move the chains. First down for the Comets. That's exciting. For Comet. First down. They break past the barrier on their first possession in the second half. Yeah, it's got to feel good to get past that. I believe this is their first possession in the second half, right? Correct. 
Is it a math question? No. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so this game is blended into I'm one giant quarter to me. Yeah. <laughs> But on the plus side, everyone's helmets are particularly shiny under these lights. Yeah, and well. It's very beautiful. Got Casey Ald again with the carry. Gain of about three. Down by Nolan Scheibler. It's crazy how much slower the game seems to go when both teams are just running a few yards at a time, you know, instead of breaking Second it open with that comment. big pass. Yeah, Castens, I know that they had a coaching change. So yep. they, they're probably still trying to figure out what kind of game they want to play here. And yeah, some, of, the, the some of these players may even, you know, still be adjusting. Well, I mean, it, I think every team's still in that boat, whether they have the same coach or the new coach, with the added obstacle of having a new coach. We got a timeout here by the Comets. We're going to take a quick break and a word from our sponsors. You're watching RTC TV4. We'll be back after this. There's no better time than right now to buy or refinance a home, and there's no better place to go for a mortgage loan than First Federal Savings Bank. Mortgage interest rates are still incredibly low, so now's the perfect time to talk with one of our loan experts. We offer a variety of mortgage loans from conventional loans to FHA and USDA subsidized loans. We don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Are you in pain from an injury or arthritis? What if there was a place that could meet all of your orthopedic needs? A place with some of the best orthopedic doctors and staff in the Midwest. A place where you're treated as a person instead of a patient. What if that place weren't in Chicago or Indianapolis? There is such a place. Rochester Orthopedics, your regional orthopedic specialist. When you're looking for comfort and relief, remember, trust the board certified and fellowship trained surgeons at Rochester Orthopedics. And we're back. Comets with possession. Second down, eight yards to go. Three minutes left in the third quarter. The Blue Jays lead 30 to zero. Comets looking for their first touchdown of the game here. Casey Alt with the carry. He's gonna make some ground with the help from his team. Yeah, that one looked pretty good. Very solid gain on the play. Looks like we've got about Two yards to go here for a first down. We'll find number 35. He's going to fall short. Colton Welker on the carry. Colton Welker with the carry. Going to put the Comets fourth down, two yards to go. Colton falling Colton right at the line of scrimmage. Boyd. Actually, looks like they're going to take a loss of a yard on that play. Minute 56 left in the third quarter. Brings up fourth and three. Comet's going to go for it. Casey Alt, he finds a gap. He's got some room. He's got some room. Yeah, go. Oh, he falls down at about the five-yard line, but a really that good gain, just what the Comets needed. Yep. Caleb Peretti. Just kept pushing and finally busted it open right there. Caleb Peretti with the tackle on the Blue Jays. First down. Comets making a significant gain on the play. Definitely needed that as it's been a very dismal game on their end. Mm -hmm. A very small gains when they've got them and – just some mistakes Back. that have really bit them. Right. It seemed every time they made a little bit of headway, they had a mistake or a turnover, and so that was one of the biggest pushes they've had all game. Looks like there's going to be a quick timeout here by the Blue Jays. Timeout, Blue Jays. As we take another quick break from our sponsors, 
You're watching RTC TV4. We'll be back after this. All this month, you can save big during Shepherd Chevrolet's Summer Drive event, where prices have been slashed to 20% below MSRP on 2017 Cruise, Impala, and Malibu LT Edition. How about a lower rate instead? Take 0% APR for 72 months. The choice is yours during this inventory clearance event, going on right now at Shepherd Chevrolet Buick in Rochester, where they trade your way. Online at shepherdrochester.com. Farming is a way of life for many of our Hoosier families. Protect all of your farming assets with coverage from Evans Agency in Rochester. They offer farm liability, farm personal property, and farm outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your coverage needs. Judy Evans and her staff have been serving the insurance needs of this community for over a decade. Let Judy help you protect your farm, your life, your business, and all of your possessions. Evans Agency, online at EvansAgencyRochester.com. back casting with possession here finding Casey all again the carry looks like he's gonna make a small gain if not fall down right at the yard line of scrimmage Alt on the carry actually I'm completely wrong looks like it's second and third they're far away I have no idea what's going on oh brings up second and three under a minute left in the quarter though oh go go time stresses me out Although they do keep possession. Okay. Looks like it's a Comets touchdown. It is. Number 20, Brady Hartman. Brady Hartman on the carry for a Comets touchdown. First one of the game, putting the score 30 to six. I think the Comets are just gonna go ahead and take the field, the goal. field goal here knowing how much they've worked to get just this far. Right. Add one point, don't get greedy early. I mean, late. Brady Hartman with the attempt here. As he was the one that just scored the touchdown, he will now try and earn the extra point. Might as well do it all. No good. No? No good. A little too far to the right. Mm. No good. He definitely had some serious pressure from the defense. Yeah, the Blue Jays were May have gotten in his head a little bit there. It's hard to th see through the camera. Ironically, right? Yeah. As a camera is a seeing device to an extent. Right. <laughs> Maybe I'm just old. Yeah. Need to get closer to the viewfinder. If you're old, that's bad news for me. <laughs> you only have a year on me, you'll be okay. 36 seconds left in the third quarter as the Blue Jays get ready to receive the ball. Looks like, looks like they have Fletcher Greer back there in the back end ready to return it. Not, Not sure Kasten will put the ball in his hands. Right. Knowing that he is a strong runner. Let's try and stay away from that. Maybe at this point that you see more of an onside kick, which is what we saw initially Right, there. at the beginning of the yeah. game. Yeah, not a traditional way to start that off. Yeah, that was um, caught me off guard. Obviously worked for him, though, because yeah. it did get them uh, some early momentum that I think. Much needed. Hats off for that. Comet's going to send it down midfield. Number 18, Logan Block with the carry. Logan Block on the return. Going to be brought down at about the 44-yard line. Which I think they're going to call it 45, just to prove me wrong. Well, 
it would be out of the ordinary for this game if that wasn't the case. Yeah. Suppose the referees probably know a little bit more about football than I. Eh, I mean, I guess you could say that. <laughs> Large gain there by the Blue Jays. Tyler Blount on the carry. Number 88, Tyler Blount with the carry. Brought down by Blake Albright. Sort of a bigger runner there. Probably a little harder to stop than Fletcher Greer. As we stand up here, you can kind of see more of the size difference, yes. I think, between the players. So, Which is huge advantage on the football field, for sure. Looks like we're going to have another timeout here. That's the end of the third quarter. Uh, no, it is the end of the third quarter. I was not looking winner. at the clock. Tonight's jackpot so we're going to take a quick break here as we transition dollars. into the fourth. The Blue Jays lead 30 to 6. You're watching RTC TV 4. We'll be four, back right six, after this. Three. This broadcast brought to you in part by these local sponsors. The lawyers and staff of Peterson, Wagoner & Perkins LLP are here to provide the highest quality legal and professional service to their clients presently and for the future. See a full list of services online at peterson-wagoner.com. Evans Agency in Rochester, offering farm liability, personal property, and outbuilding policies, all customized to fit your insurance needs. Let Judy help you protect all of your possessions. Online at evansagencyrochester.com. Stay connected with the fastest internet speeds available with RTC Fiber Communications. Voice data and video connectivity for the 21st century. Online at rtc1.com. First Federal Savings Bank is your local mortgage lender with six locations throughout North Central Indiana. Trust the professionals at First Federal Savings Bank. Online at firstfederalbanking.com. And we're back to start the fourth quarter. Blue Jays uh, not with possession. No, they are with possession. Okay. <laughs> I'm confused. They change uh, sides of field. So. Tyler yeah. Blount yeah. on the carry. Tyler Blount with the Blue carry. Jay. First down. Blue Jays get another first down, setting them about the 43-yard line. Had to wait for the change to land there to figure out where we were. Yes. Agreed. Understandable. Do you think those are wishbones in the end zones painted? Uh, they might be. Yeah, we do have some interesting art here on the Blue Jay field. <laughs> A blue wishbone. Yes. Ooh, not going to be caught. Aiming for number for Chucky, Wilcox. Chucky Wilcox, number 33. Is he the one in the first half with the nice catch? Or he was, was that not. Contreras? That was number 30, Contreras. Okay. So actually changing it up from their pattern with their pass plays, it has been Contreras, I think, every time they've tried. Cast and still uh, able to adapt and make sure that that pass does not happen. Blue Jays run it to the outside. They're going to have the first down. Brought down at about the 29-yard line. Tyler Blount on the carry. Tyler Blount. Another Blue Jay. Once first more. down. For somebody not carry. on the roster, he's definitely made a large contribution. Yeah, maybe they left tonight. him off there on purpose. Yes. I mean, this could have been a strategy. We didn't know about him. Like a little bit of a mix up there. Wilcox on the carry. Wilcox with the carry did not make any ground. She looks like a loss of a yard or two. 
Blue Jays sitting second down and 12. Wow, I actually thought that that Chucky was going Wilcox to be uh, a no game, but that was actually First Chucky Wil Wilcox, yeah, he number 33. He broke stuck away. out of there. Yeah. I was a little surprised. It looked like the action had stopped, and I was Sneaky waiting to see who got up. up. Sneak was the right word. It, he definitely did not bust out of there right, right into the wide open. Don't forget the 7th and 8th grade. Go to Caston tomorrow morning for an 11.30 kickoff. This puts the Blue Jays at about the 11 yard line. 7th and 8th grade game. First and 10. Pretty close to a first and goal. Not quite. Number 33 running out to the side as he knocks down the chains. Oh. Chucky Wilcox. Chucky Wilcox. Here. Was it the Once chains again. or the chain holder? I think just the chains. Okay. I think the chain holders are trained. Drop, down, <laughs> drop the chains. Drop the chains, like drop the mic, and yeah. run. Okay. I think that's why they have two of them, so they can readjust when they need to yeah. reposition themselves. You know? Pretty smart. Also, the JV will travel to Cross County Rival Knox and play Monday at a, for a 5 o'clock kickoff. like Kane Peretti with a keep. Perhaps not. I'm completely wrong. Looks like he's over there at the sidelines, so it was not him. Oops. <laughs> so I think I, I think their their numbers are a little messed up in comparison to, you know, Cassins are very clear. Theirs are just kind of blend. Yeah, you're so right. I'm, I'm a well, little off Well, especially the gold it. is a lighter color, and like I said, when the light reflecting off of it, there's a shimmer effect so pardon our mistakes it's the illusions gonna hand it to Chucky Wilcox again Chucky 33 Wilcox on the carry. Blue Jays sitting fourth Next and week, seven the Blue Jays will take on the Rensselaer Bombers here at beautiful Liberty Field, the 7 p.m. kickoff. I don't know if the Blue Jays are going to go ahead and go for it here or if they're going to go for, looks like they are. And they're going to find it. Yep. Fletcher Greer finding an opening. Giving the Blue Jays another goal. 36 to 6. Fletcher Greer with a carry for another Blue Jay touchdown. Oh, looks like there might be an injury. Yeah, number 20, Brady Hartman. He's able to walk it off, but yeah, he is definitely able to not walk feeling uh, but very good about it. Yeah, he didn't hop up. Like normal. Not the best thing for the Comets as he is a very important aspect to their offense yes. and defense. The Jays will be going for two. Blue Jays are going to go ahead and go for two. Finding number 33, Chucky Wilcox. Comets meeting him, yep. but he's still going to find a wow. way around, and he's going to earn it. That was Chucky very Wilcox impressive. The for the conversion. Just a slight transition back towards the center of the field yeah, good to footwork. throw off the defense. Definitely juked and jived through that gap. I didn't know if he was going to be able to pull it off. Eight and a half minutes left in the game. Score 38-6. to six. as the Comets get ready to receive the ball. Trying to at least close the gap a little bit on this score. Going home with a little bit more than where they're at.
I would also say that the Blue Jays have a larger team compared to the Comets. Right. Maybe giving them a little bit of a, you know, well, some time to refresh. and Yeah, not a, not a ton of guys playing on both sides, so they get a break every now and then. Like I said, you know, we have Brady Hartman, for example, who kicks and plays offense and also plays defense, so he's – Right, all over, and, and I know Casey Alt's the same way. So Well, the one possession where he scored the touchdown and then went back to kick, yeah, I right. was like, okay, you just do it all. Good just job. going to go ahead and get all those points. Yeah. High five to you. Oh. Ball fell off. There's number 30, Chris Contreras, gets ready to kick. Like we have Blake Albright in the back ready to return. Hasn't made it that far necessarily all the time. Oh, there's a high one. Oh. Going to no. find the hands of number seven, Tate Cowell. Brought down at about the 40 yard line. Tate Cowell on the carry. The Blue Jay fans definitely getting into this game now. Yes, it, it is chilly, and I see, uh, there's some shirts <laughs> coming <laughs> some off. Some shirts taken off, and I'm here shivering. Which I'll, I'll borrow. No, <laughs> I won't do that. It's tempting. I would not advise it. Yeah, probably not. Stranger's clothes. Is, my mom told me not to do that. <laughs> but it, they must be warm from being up by so many points, so maybe that's why. Comet's looking for something going here. It's like a handoff to number 20, Brady Hartman. He's going to make a small gain. Brady Hartman on the carry. Not seeing a change here on the scoreboard to let you know how large of a gain that was. But Number seven, finding, I think that was Brady Hartman again. Short the, pass. No, it was 40, Casey Alt. Pass from Cal to Alt. Tate Cowell throwing it over to him. Third and two. Now with the way this game's looking, I'd say the early game for the Blue Jays definitely played in their favor. Yes. Early bird gets the worm kind of deal. Oh, no pun yeah. intended. <laughs> Good run here by the Comets, though. Yeah. Making a larger gain than he should have. Yes. Pushing with Hold on quite an game. effort. Brought down by Sam Back. At about the 40-yard line, he's slow to get up. Oh, there's two There's two, two injuries on the field. Looks like a small leg cramp here on one. Another gets up. That was Casey Alt on the carry. Stretching that Taking out a quick a moment bit. to feel himself out as he was tackled by about three people. Yes. When the whole team jumps on top of you, you are allowed to take a break for a minute. Blue Jays but, uh, showing some respect, kneeling down for the injury. I never like to zoom in on the injury, so we'll focus Yeah, it looked on like a, just a uh, – no, he's limping on it. I thought maybe it was a, just a leg cramp. Definitely feeling a little more than a simple cramp here. Some applause as he makes it off the field. It's like number 35, Colton Welker. The 
play clock starts ticking as the Comets line up on the line of scrimmage. Tate Cal, he's going to run for it. There's a flag on the play. He's got some room. Going to go out of bounds at about the 19 yard line. Yeah, that was a good run. Cowell on the carry. Way to make something happen as he was almost brought down behind the line of scrimmage. But there is a flag on the field. Don't know if this plays in favor of the Comets or not. There may have been a holding call in the Comets with. No. No. Oh, they get yeah. gain some yardage. Yeah, they're actually going to gain some yardage. So it was against the Blue Jays. That's good to see for the Comets. They haven't caught a ton of breaks tonight, so I was hoping and with that run that they would get rewarded a little bit for that. Not entirely sure what the call is. Waiting for the professionals over the PA to tell me. <laughs> Left. Going to be first and goal as they line up at the 10-yard line. Tate Cal, he's going to run for it again. He's got a little bit of room. He gets it into the end zone. Busted through that. Tate Cal on the carry for a touchdown. What a run by Tate Cal. That's twice in a row now. He's taken some plays that just look well covered and Gained some solid ground on it. Definitely found those gaps and pushed through. Looks like they but may yeah, have that accidentally given those points over to the home team. Okay, let's not do that. <laughs> there we go. Give us the points earned. All right, score is 38 to 12. Not sure how Brady Hartman's feeling, so they may go for two here. Looks like that's what they're doing. Brady Hartman's going to go ahead and run it in. And he got it. <laughs> so he was feeling all right. Just yeah. Brady they Hartman on they the decided uh, not to go ahead and make Conversion him kick it. Good. Score 38-14. to 14. Comets showing a little bit of fire now in the fourth. Gaining some ground here. 6.16 to go. Unfortunately, the clock is not in their favor. It's uh, going to take quite a few. Yes. Hail Marys. <laughs> Perhaps Hail Marys and some other miracle things some other Marys. to gain this ground, but definitely a good job on the Comets to still pursue some points here, right. you know, and not just like, well, it's fourth quarter and we've got 25 points to go. Right. Still pursuing the, the win or at least some, a tighter, tighter game. Blue Jays going to receive Caston's kickoff here. Looks like Fletcher Greer in the back. Blue Jays will be back in action here at home next Friday night when we face the Rensselaer Bombers. Kickoff at 7 o'clock. Brady Hartman with the kickoff here. Leg must be doing all right. Usually bananas help in cramped situations. Yeah, you think they got a bundle of bananas over there on the know. side? <laughs> Sometimes athletic trainers have very unusual things that help. I think Comets are, might go for something a little interesting here, like an onside kick. 
by number 27 for the Blue Jays. He's going to make more ground than he should have. Oh, pushing forward. He falls forward. backwards. Nolan Scheidler on the return. Nolan Scheidler with the return. Same person they kicked it to last time. Or two times ago. He must have liked how he handled it last time. Then, yes. Because Blue Jays is going to be taking the ball at about the 49-yard line. Give it off to, ooh, he breaks free. Number 32 for the Blue Jays, Chance Thomas, a name we have not heard tonight. As another cast and player goes down, he looks like he's in pain. Physicians check in. Like that's number 35 again, Colton Welker. This is, man, not a good night for him. Nope. But if it, if looks it was like, a cramp Looks like initially. the same leg as well, yeah. unfortunately. If it was a cramp, easy to happen again, but kudos to him for coming in and still trying. Colton Welker going to get up, wobbling a little bit as he walks off the field. The assistant of his coaching team. Comets taking that time to try and orchestrate themselves a little bit. I imagine Colton Welker is going to go ahead and sit the rest of the game out. Wanting those injuries to heal up because, yeah, like I not, said, I think if that was an injury it. on the same leg two times in a row now. Right. Not worth it. Just under six minutes left to play. In a game that is not close enough to want to risk something like that, right. I'd say. I would agree. Save it for next Friday. Now, I did mention, you know, Kasten has some time to orchestrate. This also gave Blue Jays some time right. to orchestrate. Yep. So See what happens with this play. And they're going to be getting a little more. Looks like we have some new players on the field, maybe some JVers. Getting some time on the field. Caden Perotti on the carry. Now you have to memorize your numbers again. Caden Perotti on the carry. Actually, not a new player. Yeah, actually, I don't have any of these numbers. I saw 82 walk off the field. I don't have that one. So okay. <laughs> after this, you know, it's just, well. We'll have to work on that for next time. <laughs> I was the roster fetcher, so it probably is my fault. Uh, I'll take that. I don't know if I would have expected you to retype the papers. <laughs> um, can I have your name, please? Yeah, you need to just, I should have expected you to interview all the players. I know. Though, and just get their numbers and... Anyways, the Blue Jays line up again. Going to run it. Brought down. Gained a little more than I thought he did. Look like number 22. Logan Brown. Four minutes, 15 seconds left in the game. Fourth and one for the Blue Jays. Fourth down, one yard to go for the Blue Jays. As I think you see just a solid push down the middle here, trying to get that yard. I would agree. In all the football I've learned tonight, I would agree. <sighs> Going to be a keeper. Oh. Looks like he's not going to get it. 
and and a As the comments just jump on top of it from yeah. above. It's gonna be a turnover on downs, I think. Ah, uh, they may have got it. You're gonna call the chains out. Do some serious measuring. Gonna measure. Looks like they mm, did not. Blue they Jay. did get First it. Yep. Okay, that was right on the line. It was very close. I don't know if the rules differ. I tend to watch more professional NFL football if I watch any. So, and that changes every year. I feel like. Yes. So I'm lost every year as far as what's right and you what's wrong. Have to watch wrong, a few so. games to get used to it for yeah. sure. So, gonna go ahead and be a Blue Jay first down at about the 42-yard line. I think most of the Blue Jays starters have been taken off the field. The Number 41, Taper Brown with that carry. A small gain of a yard. Ball is dropped. It's going to be recovered by number 12. Covered by the Comet? Yeah. Zach Conrad. Very quick to see that and jump on Zach it. Zach Conrad on the recovery. Two Comet minutes, 43 seconds down. left in the game. I think the Comets would like to at least see another touchdown on the board. Actually, I know they would. Yes. I don't think I even have to no. go ask them. I think I that that's think what they. So. I think they'd like to see you a don't few. Even but have to phone a friend. You can probably think, just go uh, for that one. Comets might be looking to take advantage a little bit of the JV team being brought out, it looks like. Tate Cowell, he's going to run it. He's got some room. Make it to about the 43-yard line. Another good run by him. Yeah. First down, Comets. Definitely a pretty fast quarterback. Yes. Faster than I. <laughs> and I. I don't think we can really compare ourselves to them. They might be offended. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> personal foul on the Blue Jays. A uh, personal foul on the Blue <laughs> Personal foul on the Blue Jays. Personal Gonna foul. Gonna be. I believe 15 yards on those sort of calls was earlier. Putting the Comets at about the 29 yard line. Casey Alt coming into play. I don't know if he was out of play, but he coming from the sidelines. He might have had a drink. He's thirsty. Tate Cow with the hold. He's got nowhere oh. to go as he's sacked in the backfield. Going to bring him down at about the 43-yard line. Making that personal foul Irrelevant. negligible. Irrelevant. Negligible. 
synonymous. Good <laughs> vocab words until you said that one. Right, yeah, synonymous. <laughs> She's got an update from the Zebra game. Looks like the Zebras won 20 to 7 over Osceola. Wow. Congratulations. And Argus Soccer tied Faith Christian 1 to 1. Oh, a tie. Ooh. I don't know. Flag on the play. Once again, we go back to the conversation. I don't know what to call that, but yeah. I think it was against the Blue Jays. So Rochester now 2 and 0 oh on their football mm. season, having a really good start. They also had a coaching change this year. They did. So coach Hooker now. Brian Hooker is the new coach. Going to be about five yards here, I think, for the Comets. Helping them a little bit yeah. after that sack. Second down, 15 yards to go. But Argus soccer to tie. Oh, that's a tough one to have yeah. to end a game in a tie. I know it happens. Tate Cal. Try and find somebody. Looks like there's going to be a flag on the play with Tate interference, Cal I think. On the pass attempt. Number on the play. 20, Man Manuel Barnes from the Blue Jays, I think, just got a little too physical there on the receiver. Another update here, Tippecanoe Valley trailing C Culver Military Academy 33-0, to zero. so a very similar situation to what we're seeing here. Sounds like it. CMA, obviously, a very well-organized school. Personal foul on the Blue Jays. Personal foul on the Blue Jays, actually. Comet's moving up. So that may have uh, been called that way simply because Roughing the, the play passer? was sort of over. Is, is that the correct terminology? Roughing no, I don't think it was the passer. I think it was the receiver. They called that. Oh. Or that I tried. foul occurred. It's the only <laughs> terminology. I threw it out there. You just hear it. You so you're like, oh, swatted it out right. of the air. Tate Callie's backing up. He doesn't have anybody. Throws it down. Got a flag on the play. Incomplete pass. It's going to be an incomplete pass. Flag on the play. With a flag on the play. See what they call it. Looks like they might just get a repeat second down here. Intentional grounding against the Comets. Intentional grounding against the Comets. See, I thought maybe, but... He called it with the announcer, and I trusted him. Can only trust people so far, Abby, if we've learned anything this game. Yes. Sometimes uh, <laughs> you got to go with your gut. We are not those people, but the loudspeaker announcer is. <laughs> so we trust him. Comet sitting at the 43-yard line. Second and 25 yards to go. Going to be brought down about the 44. Ooh. Blake Albright on the carry. Number eight, Blake Albright with the carry. Got to tuck those pads back in. About a minute left in the game. Score 38 to 14. Kasson probably just wants to try for one more here. It looks like the Kasson comments are going to go ahead and call a timeout, stop the clock, and see if they can get something on the board before this game ends. Time You're watching time. RTC TV 4, and we'll be back right after this. There's no better time than right now to buy or refinance a home, and there's no better place to go for a mortgage loan than First Federal Savings Bank. Mortgage interest rates are still incredibly low, so now's the perfect time to talk with one of our loan experts. We offer a variety of mortgage loans from conventional loans to FHA and USDA subsidized loans. We don't want to be the biggest bank, just the best bank. Are you in pain from an injury or arthritis? What if there was a place that could meet all of your orthopedic needs? A place with some of the best orthopedic doctors and staff in the Midwest. A place where you're treated as a person instead of a patient. What if that place weren't in Chicago or Indianapolis? 
there is such a place. Rochester Orthopedics, your regional orthopedic specialist. When you're looking for comfort and relief, remember, trust the board-certified and fellowship-trained surgeons at Rochester Orthopedics. We're back after a quick timeout by the Comets. Just under a minute here in the game. Comets third down, 25 yards to go. They're looking for a big play here, I'd say, to try and get into that end zone before this game wraps up to bring the score a little closer. Tate Cal, he's got some room. He can run it. Going to try and find the sideline. No, he's not. Tate Cal on Hard carry. Hit. Probably should have tried to hit that sideline to stop that clock, but the Comets may have a timeout here if they use it. They are not. This is going to be the last play of the game as we hit 30 seconds. I think this is where the Hail Marys come out. Yes. Probably not, but Let's go, Mary. you can think. Take Cal. Tries to find something. He finds. Yes, go. Into the end zone. Blake That's Albright good. with the reception. Ten seconds left. And they pull it off, bringing this score definitely to a tighter close. Yes, a lot more. 38 to 20 as the Comets may go for the two point here. I would imagine you do, and they are. And they find it. Albright with the carry. Blake Albright with the carry. Earns the, field, earns the touchdown and the two point conversion. 10 seconds left on the clock. Score sitting 38 to 22 with the Blue Jays in the lead. I think the comments are just going to try and, I mean, you could you could look at this two ways. You could either just try and give them something they know they can tackle, or maybe you go for something crazy like an onside kick, try and recover it and run it down the field. I probably a little it. more risky, but do it, probably do it. not worth it, I would say. Whatever you need to practice at this point <laughs> in time, I'd say get that in. Treat, it, treat it like a practice Last game. 10 seconds to go. Do you need to practice your onside kicks? Do it. See, I think you're much like me, or I'm like, I'm gonna go watch a football game. Like, who's the underdog? Mm -hmm. Go them. Go <laughs> them. Go team. Because uh, I like exciting games. Yes. And this like has everybody, actually but, turned you know. out. Yeah, I think you know towards it at halftime. Towards the fourth quarter, Caston started to show up a little bit more and mm -hmm. make some things happen. Looks like the Blue Jays might be. We go ahead and receive it. Fletcher Greer returns it. He's brought down at about the 45 with a flag on the play. Fletcher Greer on the carry. Flag on the play. I don't know what they're calling. Three and a half seconds left. If it stays in possession of the Blue Jays, this game's over. Which I imagine it does because there's no uh, there was no fumble or anything like that. I don't want to anticipate what those hand signals mean, but it looks like it may be Caston's ball. Living and it is. Wow. We have a very interesting situation here with three and a half seconds left. Caston has one play. Now I'll tell you if there were any time for a Hail Mary, it's now. Yes. But I think their running play is much stronger than their passing game. I know, so but I want to see it. I think they're going to go ahead and run it. I'll make my night. 
if we Hail Mary it. And I would say with the way this game has looked, you might look for something with Tate Cowell. Even yeah, though he is the quarterback, he's definitely been able to close some yards. Find a way to make something happen. Looks like another flag on the play. And that's the ball game. Nope, they're going to uh, go ahead and down the it. North Texas, All right. San Pierre Blue Jays winning 38 Blue Jays to win 38 to 22 over the Casting Comets. See you next week. Drive As this game safely. comes to a close, I'm Brant Gerald here with Abby Malco at North Judson High School. You're watching RTC TV4, and we'll see you next time. Bye.